immediate opponent. What is going on here? I think that's the right one that I want here is default deck name. This guy's thinking about stuff now. Okay, let's get in a game and see if default deck name can live up to its name. Let's see what this guy's got. Uh, I wish I played first because I have the essence scatter, but you know, I've got Blocks McGee. So we're not in terrible shape. Blocks McGee doesn't even die. Like, most of the removal in the format didn't even kill that thing, which is kind of awesome. And by most of the removal, I mean Shocks. Shocks is definitely the most common removal that we tend to see. This guy has too many cards. Don't know how to break it to you, sir. But 60 is too many. It is 20 too many. Let's drop this down. I kind of want to just start dropping these guys. Uh, essence scatter for later, perhaps. When some scarier stuff shows up, because I've got board presence, so I don't know that I necessarily need to just stop him from playing creatures. Let's play like a fog bank here. That would kind of suck. Uh, I'm not really sure what else. Flying and vigilance kind of sucks for sure. One three, especially if he goes to like quick equip that up with something. So I well, that's, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Attacking doesn't do anything, but I will go ahead and play this. So I'm never going to unsummon this thing. It's just a 1-3. He has to try and play something else on it. And he doesn't really have a whole lot that he can play in colors unless he drops a black here and Mark of Vampires this thing, which could be why he has 60 cards. I'm not sure. But if he's not going to try and play anything on it, we're not going to either. Dry drop or answer. I can't do anything to that. Don't know why I flashed him. Thought I had two mana open. I do not. So now we're just pushing. So he's the only one doing damage, which really sucks. Daijin will come down eventually. Daijin's not actually very good in this deck because... Well, I don't know. I kind of thought maybe we'll get late game and we'll be able to use that power, you know, a couple times. But I don't have a whole lot of cards that are a ton of mana. I really just kind of have him in here because he's a 4-4 with evasion. And a trick. I mean, he is a little tricky. There's not going to be much that this guy tries to play on this 1-3. Um, what we got? So I get to play Daijin next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and Essence Scatter that thing. I am worried about counters. I am worried about counters, obviously. But I think we are going to have to attack. Uh, just go ahead and Grin and Barret and play Daijin. Because he could have Essence Scatter himself. I don't think cancels in the format. But Essence Scatter definitely is. Hey, that's a 2-2 blocker that I can play and maybe try and generate a little bit of action. The cool thing about this is that on my attack step, I can bounce that to his hand and then he might discard it because he discards at random. But a little 2-2 out there is pretty rad. Don't mind that at all. Clone, cloning the 2-2. That sucks. That does suck. A block? Weirdo? <laughs> I don't, I'm not bad at the game. Clone sucks. Oh, that's pretty good for me. Okay, that's what this deck is supposed to do. Attack for four. I'm going to unsummon this clone, which is going to kind of suck. Uh, I could have done it right there, actually. And maybe he would have had to get rid of it. Sleep? That's funny. Because that would have sucked. I don't even have sleep in this deck. Because I've got to unsummon this clone now. So hopefully he plays something so that the clone at least has a chance to get discarded. Solemn Offering. Sure. That sucks. I guess it kind of depends on what he does here. 
Okay. Unsummon that thing. Unsummoned. 17. I don't know that I like this deck. I don't know that I like what I did with this deck. I'm going to do one damage. Let's go ahead and do it. I can't play Daijin because then he'll just copy it and he can fully utilize the ability as well. Oh, I'm so stupid. I should have left the 2 2 back to block the 1 3. That's dumb as hell. There's no reason to attack with that 2 2. Well, I wouldn't have done my 1 damage. I don't know. There's Clone again. Great. I just worry, like, I can't have him have Daijin as well. So that would really suck. I don't know what Daijin tries to accomplish here. I don't know that that card should be in this pile. Interesting. Don't have enough mana to do both. By a long shot, actually. I'll play that. Cards in hand. I'll attack. Okay. I should have played the land second main, but it's just that I don't have any cards in hand. But that showed him that I didn't have any combat tricks or anything. Of course, I am blue, black, and in the sealed format, I don't believe there's too many combat tricks available to me. If I draw another blue mana, Daijin goes off like 50 times. I just play a bunch of cards off the top of my pile. Which could be cool. I don't have too big of a problem with that. This guy didn't want to push his clone. Maybe he's waiting to get a I mean all it does is it makes my stuff like instants. It's really all it does. That's pretty good too. Put that on him. I'll attack at all. Let's see what he does. Daijin's kind of a gamble. Can't block the 4-2. I mean, I don't know what he wants to do with Daijin, but I mean, he can block that. I mean, it's 10 damage coming at him. It's quite quite a bit. When Daijin at his end step, maybe, maybe when he attacks, see if I get something cool. What's he doing right now? Safe passage. Lame. Super lame. So if I choose not to play, so he doesn't even discard that card. That's fine, your turn. Maybe I should put more of that removal back in here to see if Daijin has something to play with. I don't know, it makes creatures have flash. It's Daijin, what do you want from me? Playing that guy, he's kind of deciding what he wants to discard at that point as well. Let's stop the whole world here. Let's activate this. Let's see what we get. Oh, hell yes. You know that's right. Get him on the field. What is happening? Excellent. Uh, what do I want here? I kind of just want sign up. Oh, wait, no. 
Booties. Get my booties going. Guess what? Block. Surprise. Just kill that thing. Kill that thing right on up. Yep, goodbye. See you later. See you later. I mean, I could also... There's a bunch of different ways I could have just killed him. Because I could have got... Um, the one thing. And put it on... Him. That would have been eight. That's twelve unblockable. Which also would have been pretty good. I'm gonna put this down. A little booties. Kinda gonna equip this guy, actually. Yeah, that's fine. I actually, I don't know. I, f I might as well distress. I should have distressed first, but I wasn't thinking of doing it. Sure. Yeah, that seems like something I don't want you to play. We would have discarded it anyway. And everybody. Yeah, I should have just got the unblockable thing. That was my mistake. That's a weird block. Kill that 1-3. Don't have any cards in hand. You're a 5. Got 4 unblockable. Got a bunch of flyers. Does get swinging with that 1-3 though. Oh, he's got a bunch of flyers too now. Does one to me. Cool. So now I get to use Daijin's two remaining wish counters. I don't know if I should do it now or not, because that enchantment could come out. Who is blocking whom here? Stop that. Sure. Uh, what's his life at? What's he taking? He's taking four, so I just have to do it at him. But that's not really what I want to do here. Because that could actually backfire and give him, like, an unsummon or something. Ugh, that sucks. Well, I guess on so I guess there's not really anything. I mean, he could have drawn another one of the safe passages, though. He had three mana up, but unsummon's not really a problem there because he couldn't have got rid of the four two. But he could have safe passage. I'm pretty sure this won't fucking let me look at it, but I'm pretty sure that's what that costs. One anyway. We've got our own unsummon, so we could have unsummoned Daijin and then play it again. But I see. I don't really know that Daijin has a whole lot of uses here. It's a weird deck. I don't know that it's very good. It was fun though. I had a little bit of fun with it. It might need the other unblockable card. I think it needs more creatures too. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all tomorrow.